Hello, this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I have a special themed haul today. Uh, these are from estate sales. There are a couple of scarves. I ended up buying a bunch of handkerchiefs, and there were a couple of small square scarves in there also. So I'm going to be including those in the haul. And if you see something you're interested in, uh, feel free to comment below or you can send me an email to contact me. I'm going to do things a little bit different because these are so similar. A lot of them are very similar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold up a number associated with them to help me and to help you. So if you see something you're interested in, like this, I'll show parts of this very first one. This is like a nice silky nylon kind of um, little square scarf. And so if you're interested, then I'll hold up a number one with it. And then you can say, oh, I'm interested in number one. And I think that will make it a little easier for me because sometimes with handkerchiefs and the floral patterns, they all start kind of looking alike in very similar colors. And I think the numbering system will help me determine if you're interested, which ones you're interested in. So I'm going to try that out and see how that works. Um, and otherwise, um, these will start being incorporated into my live sales, which are every Wednesday afternoon at 4 p.m. Eastern and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I go live for my sales, when I put out haul videos, and when I put out buy it now videos also. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and start with this blue one. You can see that is a beautiful little scarf. It's got a little bit of a design with the little stripes built into it. Really pretty. And this one is going to be, yep, I'm going to keep it with it, number one, so that I can kind of fold that up and put it aside. And then if you're interested, you can say number one, the blue scarf, and that will help me determine. Here is the same design but it is in a yellow. Now these could be used, you know, if you had um, some kind of a handkerchief design, they are just a little silkier feeling than a handkerchief. But again, these could be like handkerchiefs or scarves. And you can see that design. Now the blue one has the same design, but you can see a little better with the yellow one. And the yellow one here is going to be number two. I'll just keep that with it number two. Then look at this pretty one. Oh, I love those colors, the yellow and green, the geometric design where the yellow has the green inside right there. And then the green has the yellow inside. That is so cool. Um, and on all of these, if there is a name on them, I will do my best to try to find it. I do have a couple of handkerchiefs that do have names on them that I am excited to show you. So this one is going to be number three. And then this one really is like a, more of like a scarf, long thin scarf, beautiful design. Oh my gosh, look at that fantastic design. And this one is very long. Let's see, this one does have a tag. It says 100% pure silk made in India. So that is beautiful. And if you are a boho designer, oh my gosh, the wonderful places. You could use that as a little table runner or a dresser scarf. Oh, be so pretty. And so this one is going to be number four. So the India silk scarf number four. And again, that's just to make it easier to claim um, and to make sure I'm matching up the right ones that you're interested in. Okay, this guy, I think, is a little Greek guy. And he's like a little hunter on a little silk handkerchief. 
And the design does feel like it is painted on. And this one is going to be number five. And then I have some plain ones. Um, now I have not had a chance to um, like put a little OxyClean on some of these. So you'll notice that there are some like fold marks and just some, maybe a little discoloration. This one is just a nice plain muslin really nice and again if you like doing um, your own cross stitching or embroidery these are fun to have to put your own design on so this one's going to be number six now this one is just a little bit darker i'm not sure you're going to be able to tell i'm going to hold this one up next to it so you can see this one's a little more leaning towards beige in color this one's a little more of like that off-white linen color so i just wanted to make that kind of color distinction because i know sometimes the lighting here um, can distort especially white like how white something is and so this one is just nice and plain with a beautiful border i'm looking to see if this one no this one's a little different so i'm going to hold that one off so this one has the pretty like double cut out border and this one is going to be number seven do it that way and then this one is about the same color just a little different border on it and again if you enjoy doing your own cross stitch that's got a nice um just a, a nice woven pattern to it um, these plain ones are great to put your own design on this one's going to be number eight now this is a um, like an off-white one that does have a design on it right there that is lovely beautiful floral and then it's got the fun little dots in the corner and this one is going to be number nine Next one is a little more intricate pattern. There we go. That's a lovely flower. Oh, that is so pretty. Now this one again, my camera's making it look a little whiter. This is a little more of the, it's just a little off white. So I just want to point that out in case my camera makes it look a little whiter. It is more of an off white, but oh, that is so pretty. This one's going to be number 10. And then this one, I will say, is in need of maybe a little stain treating, but oh, wait till you see the pattern on this one. So this has a beautiful little, like an L maybe. And then look at the flowers. Oh, this one is so pretty. I love that. But it does have um, some crease staining on it and i found yeah a little biz or a little oxyclean usually will take that right out just like a little soaking in that but oh i loved that one so that one is number 11. there's another plane with a floral now this one has the flowers in all of the corners there um oh i'm showing you the back hold on there we go there's the front and you can see in each of the corners and then this one is going to be number 12 and that's the one with them in all of the corners now this one still has the sticker on it Let's see, oops, I think I'm upside down. They're cotton made in Switzerland. It does have a little stain right there. Beautiful lace border. Oh, that one is so pretty. And this one is going to be number 13.
Here is a plain one with a blue crochet border or tatting. That might be tatting on that one. Uh, this one does need, I'm going to say, maybe a slight uh, cleaning. Might have some fold stains on it. Just maybe a little bit. And this one is going to be number 14. Now we're getting into some of the pattern ones. This one was unfortunately a little crumpled in there. Oh, pretty purple flowers. And then down here it says LJ. I think that's what that says. And this one is going to be number 15. The pretty green one. Seeing if this was a oops, front or back, but I think they're pretty much both the same. Oh, that one is so pretty. This one is number 16. This one is um, yellow. So it's a very pale yellow with these beautiful flowers. And I'm gonna get in here close because you can see that there is a white, like a secondary white pattern. So let me get in here with the light shining on that. There with the light, you can see that secondary pattern. So very pretty, it has a nice ruffled edge. This one is number 17. Beautiful floral pattern. We're getting into a lot of florals now with the patterns. And this one also has a secondary pattern in white. So a lovely pattern in white right there. This one is number 18. Um, this one there are two of. That, love that one. And this one has two identical. And so they are going to be number 19. This one has the same um, colors, but different flowers. So a different floral arrangement, same colors, and there are two of these. Now this one, I think maybe one of these was washed a few times. And you can see the colors are a little more vibrant on that one. And these are going to be number 20. There is this one, purples and blues. This one is number 21. And then this one has the same colors, but a different floral pattern. And there are two of these. So here are the purple and blue, different pattern. And see right there that there are two of those and they are number 22. Let's see. I'm going to show, since I was showing this style first, I'm going to show this one again, again with those center flowers. This one is all in pinks and there are two of these. And they are number 23. So you can see how if I said the pink floral, it's going to get a little confusing with all the florals. So that's why I decided to go with the numbering system. <laughs> and then there's this pink floral. Oh, so pretty. Just one of these. And it's going to be number 24. Okay. Beautiful for fall time. Look at this. Oh, the lovely leaves. Here is the back. 
This one, I'm going to think that this very possibly could have been machine stitched. It could have been hand stitched just very expertly. So this one is, um, yeah, somehow I lost number 25. So here we go. Number 26, <laughs> if you were keeping track, I skipped a number. <laughs> okay, pink floral. Again, this one is stitched. Oops, there we go. And here is the back. Or maybe that was the front. Okay, I think this one was the front. And then that one was the back. There we go. And this one is number 27. Oh, this one is lovely. Let me see. This one is the front here. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. All those beautiful little cross stitches and embroidery. And then here is the back. Oh, so beautiful. Now this one does also have a little fold staining in there. It's going to be a little hard to see, but there's just minor discoloration from the folding on that one. And it is number 28. This one has a beautiful flower, purples and blues again. And then I'll show the back right there. And this one is number 29. This one has a bird on it. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, so pretty. And then here is the back. This one is number 30. Um, this one, I do believe, oh, I have two of them, but they are slightly different. So I'm going to do them separate. So, and I'll show what part makes them just a little different. So right down here, you can see we've got kind of a white with the cut out. And then this one, almost the same flowers on it, but you can see it has green stitching down there instead of the white cut out. It's got green. So I'm going to do the white cut out as number 31. And then the green cut out, which does have the little flowers in the corners also. So the green cut out will be number 32. And then this one. I'm seeing these look, okay, I think these ones are identical. And there's no flowers in the corner, just, just the main corner stitch, but not in the other corners. So two of those, and they are number 33. I have, oh, so this one again, very similar. This one has a pink cut out, and then this one has the green. But otherwise, they are very similar. So I will do the pink cut out first. And these do have little flowers in the corners also. And then this one has, oh, white. I guess it's white cut out on that one. This will be number 34. And then this one with the green also has the flowers in the corner. The green, that will be number 35. And then I need to jump some numbers because, yep, I ended up with more than I thought. <laughs> so here is pink. Oh, this one's a little larger. Let me get this undone here. Ooh, there we go. 
a beautiful pink flower. So we've got some an applique and some embroidery. And then in the corners, very cute. And this one again is just a little larger than the other ones. So this one is going to be number 71. Then we're getting into some of the designer ones that I have. So I'm going to start with Peg Thomas. And so here is the first Peg Thomas. And I'm going to show it right down here. Now, this one, I think this one was used a lot. There is some fraying on the edge here. And there are some weak spots. And then one area where there is a hole. But, oh, look at this. Horses, cactus, owls. Oh, this pattern is so good definitely worth preserving even in the rough condition with the hole this pattern is amazing and then right there so you can see a little more fraying on the edge but oh man that pattern is just so good and so this one this is the Peg Thomas Horses. I'll do that as number 73. Then I have a Peg Thomas that still has the sticker on it. Okay, who likes their birds? Oh, and look at the colors. So fantastic with mid-century modern colors. Love that. And then down at the bottom here, it says Peg Thomas, and it still has the sticker, and that says Pure Linen on it. Let me, oh, I just had my magnifier. <laughs> Let's see, yeah, created by Kimball Pure Linen. But, oh, look at those. Oh, I love those birds. They are so good. Those are, these are like worth framing. They are so cool. Oh yeah. And this one's going to be, here, we'll do this one as number 76. So the Peg Thomas bird is number 76. Then we're going to move into Jean. I think that's Hanau. And we've got the orange, kind of orangey rust colored with all these fantastic people on it. And then right down there is the signature and oh look, all the puppies. Oh. And there, oh, isn't that so good? So this one, is going to be number 82. So the kind of orange um, Jean Hanau will be 82. And then um, same design. This one still has the sticker on it right down there. That says Pure Linen. Was that Glamour? Glamour Girl. And there's another word down there I didn't quite catch. Oh, hand rolled. So pure linen, hand rolled. It is the same design, just in the olive color. And there you go. So the olive. Jean Hanau with the, oops, I'll do it that way with the sticker still. That will be number 84. 
So again, if you're interested in something that you see, feel free to contact me. And again, we'll match up the numbers with them because I think that's the easier way to identify them because there are so many similar colors, so many similar styles, so many florals. Oh, so good. Um, so yeah, you can either comment or you can send me an email if you are interested in them. And um, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.